Let's say that I finish modeling this beautiful cylinder head and right as I'm putting my finishing touches on it I realize that I modeled this with the Y axis up. But let's say that I really want it to be with the Z axis up. And I just went through all this work. How do I reorient my part uh, to get the correct axis up that I intended? Let's go through in this video two ways to reorient the part with a different axis up in Alibre, and let's do a third bonus version for people using Atom. So first, if you're using Pro or Expert and you would like to reorient this part, we can go with one of my personal favorite ways of doing it, and that is with surfacing. I'll go to Surface, and I'll say Create Surface, not from Face, but from Solid, right? So we're gonna take our entire solid, and convert it to surfaces. And essentially what we're doing is taking all these outside surfaces of our solid and uh, deleting the solid part so that we have just references of what this part is. So with that being done, you can see that we have um, not a solid, but some infinitely thin surfaces that are much more similar to like planes or axes. It's not useful as a solid, but it is useful for reorienting. Next, I'll go to my Move and Rotate tools, and I'll select my surface, and we'll say that we want to have a precise rotate, and I'll choose this axis and edge, and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. And as we do, we can see that now our Z axis is pointing towards the top of the part, just how we want. So I'm going to say OK. Now that our part is rotated to the place that we want it, we of course want to make this a solid again. So let's go to Stitch, and we'll stitch this right back into a solid with the new axis up, and of course I'll select my surface that I wish to stitch to a solid. And just like that, we are back to being a solid. I can hit Control shift p to hide my planes, and I can go to my view and redo my floors and reflections. And just like that, we've got a solid cylinder head looking good. Now if you run into any problems with this method, one thing you'll want to do is go to Inspect and Check Part, and uh, change to what accuracy you'd like, and Apply. Uh, to see if there are any topological errors to your part, and if there are, those are probably the factors in making it so that this method doesn't work. Uh, and it's good, best practice to have solid geometry anyway. So that is how we can do one method of reorienting our part. Let's go to another method. And here with a brand new blank part, I'm going to click on Boolean Unite. And I'll insert my part. Now it's quite likely here that I would like to align my planes to how they were before. So I'll right click on my part and show reference geometry. Likewise, I can toggle the reference geometry with Control K. And now I'll wanna um, choose my planes in a way that I'll have my Z up. So I'll choose the middle plane here on my cylinder head. We'll add a constraint and I can choose to align this on another plane where my z-axis could be uh, pointing upwards. Just like that, now I have my z-axis pointing upwards and I should have one degree of freedom and I can align that there. Now that I've oriented this with my z-axis pointing upwards, I can simply apply the boolean And I have a part in the correct orientation that I can save and use for whatever orientation I need. I might be exporting it to a slicer or something like that. But if you're using Atom, you may not have access to Booleans or surfacing features. So how might one in Atom be able to reorient, reorient parts? Let's hit the bonus features now. So I've opened up my part in Atom, and let's make a new assembly. And in my new assembly, I'll insert my cylinder head. And 
And now, as before, I can add constraints to get the cylinder head oriented just the way that I'd like. Now with it fully constrained, I can export this as a step file to any third application that I'd like. Or if I really need a native Alibre part file, I don't foresee a situation where you would need that because you can just edit what you have and export it. But if you really need a native Alibre file, you can uh, save your step as an Alibre file to get it native again. You won't have your history tree, of course, but uh, that is how you would do it. So thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful, and we'll see you in the next videos.